Wednesday, 5th June 2024, a writ petition was filed with the High Court challenging the legality of a circular that abolished quota in government jobs. After a hearing, the court ordered the reinstatement of quotas. Thursday, 6th June 2024, students began street protests rejecting the High Court verdict. After an appeal seeking a stay on the court verdict was turned down, students launched indefinite protests from July 1st. They organized under the banner of Boishumo Birudhi Chhatro Andolun or anti-discrimination students' movement to press home their four-point demands to reform the quota system. Sunday, 7th July 2024, students launched a Bangla blockade program. They made a one-point demand that a law be passed in Parliament to reform the quota system with minimum allocations only for the disadvantaged population. The street agitations by the students remained peaceful. After a few days, the state representing the students' movement to the appellate division and a stay order was secured on the High Court verdict. This meant the verdict was also halted. All parties now awaited the hearing on the appeal. Tuesday, 16 July 2024, even before an appeal hearing could take place, violence spread across the country, centering the student agitation. Criminals disguised as protesters and engaged in widespread arson and vandalism. Wednesday, 17 July 2024, Attacks and vandalism in the capital and across the country intensified and turned violent. The government was forced to announce shutdown of all educational institutions. All university students were asked to vacate their hostels. Thursday, 18 July 2024, vandalism spread in all parts of the capital. Various government and private institutions, buildings and vehicles were vandalized and set on fire. The toll plaza on Mayor Honey flyover was burned to ground. The metro rail, a dream come true for the city residents, also came under attack. The stations at Kazipara and Mirpur 10 witnessed massive destruction and arson. A toll plaza of Dhaka Elevated Expressway, the Mirpur Indoor Stadium and even police stations were set on fire. Two offices of the Police Bureau of Investigations were burned down in Bonastri and signboard areas within the capital. Even the head office of the state broadcaster, Bangladesh Television, was attacked and set on fire. The fire caused massive damage to the archives and many other sections. Broadcast of BTV had to be halted for several hours. The office of the Department of Disaster Management was also set ablaze. Shetu Bhabon, the headquarters of the bridge division, came under attack and over 50 vehicles parked on the compound were burned. Attack and arson at the data center caused a total collapse of internet services across the country. When footages of the attacks were analyzed, it was revealed that none of the attackers were students belonging to the quota reform movement. Law enforcement agencies have confirmed that these people carried out widespread destruction of the state and public asset in exchange for money to serve the political interests of certain quarters. Law enforcers were then deployed to control the situation and prevent violence. Friday, 19th July 2024. Despite efforts by the law enforcers, the criminals continued their attacks. A building of the Health Directorate was set on fire. The Mahakali toll plaza of the elevated expressway was burned down. Even the fire service was not spared. 
four firefighting vehicles were burned and 10 others vandalized. Fire stations in Mirpur, Kachpur and Khilga came under attack. At least 18 fire service personnel were seriously injured in these attacks. City corporation buildings came under attacks and 40 dump trucks of Dhaka North City were burned. The Mohakali Regional Office was vandalized alongside three vehicles and two motorcycles. Five vehicles were set alight in Uttara and one vandalized in Mahmudpur. Uttara Community Centre and Mahmudpur Shuchana Community Centre were set on fire. Even the hospitals were not spared. Criminals vandalized the Mohakali Covid Hospital. The Jatrabari section of Dhaka Chittagong Highway remained obstructed for four days in a row. Criminals regained supreme authority in this period and clashed with the law enforcers every now and then. A number of police vehicles were set on fire. Analyzing the footage, no students were found among the Jatrabari crowd. Criminals were on the street to further regain political motives. Meanwhile, following a criminal attack, the Noshindi prison was overrun and 826 prisoners escaped. They included seven members of militant group Ansarullah Bangla team and two female members of militant JMB. Some 85 firearms and 1,000 bullets were looted by the criminals. Important prison records were destroyed in the arson. Following these events, the Kota reform activists also announced that they were no way involved in these acts of mindless destructions and violence. So who are involved in these violent acts? What are their motives? The country awaits an answer.